when we were setting it up, I told you that the guy that I was setting it up with was getting on me because yes. I didn't want to go in with the turtles. <laughs> and so you were like, I'm ready. <laughs> he's getting on you? Like, what? what? I'm yes. ready. I was ready. Like, who bothering you? Look, you mean he's getting on you? Like, what, what's happening? I appreciate you, lady. I Listen. appreciate you. So I've been living on the island of Barbados for a couple of months now, and I've picked up some interesting Bayesian slang. But I needed clarification to know what it means, and I wanted to put y'all onto it, too. So I'm bringing one of my friends here. She is from the beautiful island of Barbados to break down what these five words mean. And we're gonna twist it up a little bit and add in some US slang because I've had to clarify some things for a few folks too. So whether you're from Barbados or from the US, stay tuned because we're gonna put you on to some new words. And if they're not new, let us know. Drop a comment below. All right, guys, so this is Sabrina. She is joining us today. She is our Bayesian slang yeah. expert. Okay? I am, I will be today. So first off, boxy. Boxy. Okay. So I, I heard the song fairly early, but I initially thought maybe like box, that's what you would think. Like a box, like a box that you pack things yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But then with the context of the song, I love the song. Boxy look rolling, crawling, crawling, crawling but <laughs> give the music. She just rolling, calling, long to just nearly falling. Bro, start, start, quit. So she might have calling. Never was a messer, but he girl to tell me. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, so I knew pretty early what it meant, which is what's the mm. official definition? Botox. Botox. Be Behind yes, your right. rear end. So here's the funny thing. People kept saying to me while I was here, oh, do you know what boxy means? <laughs> I was like, yes, I know. I know what it means. Because yeah. <laughs> they, they probably think, oh, she's just so lost to these Bajan words. <laughs> no, it, Barbados and a lot of Barbadian music has become a bit more international. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of signs that everyone or more people know of know that. What it is. Think, yeah. But where did the word come from, boxy? <sighs> Because box, a uh, behind. Uh, boot, booty. But it's not boxy, right? Let's you're, put the you're... definition here. Mm -hmm. Boxy. And I don't think it's even B O X. I think it's. This is, this is what it is, and this is the definition of it. Correct. All right, so I'm going to give you the US word now. So mm -hmm. this one was funny because if you guys haven't checked out our Turtles, Swimming with Turtles video, yes. absolutely check it out. It'll be in the description. Mm -hmm. But when we were setting it up, I told you that the guy that I was setting it up with was getting on me because yes. I didn't want to go in with the Turtles. <laughs> and so you were like, I'm ready. <laughs> he's getting on you? Like, what? what? I'm yes. ready. I was ready. Like, who bothering you? Look, you mean he's getting on you? Like, what, what's happening? I appreciate you, lady. I Listen. appreciate you. So for me, when you said getting on me, I was mm -hmm. like, I thought something sexual that he was either being aggressive or he was being um, lewd. Mm, he okay, was okay. out of place or something. Yes. So I was like, nah, I ready. No. <laughs> Who I got fight. And I was so thrown off because I was like, what? I was like, oh, this is a word you don't get. Okay. Yes. So usually when we say getting on me, it means like he's cracking jokes uh, on me. Like he's got jokes. Oh, you don't, you don't want to go and like swim with the turtles. Then why are you doing this? Yes. You know? Oh, because it was over your hair. It was over my hair. My yes. hair was straightened at the time. And I was like, well, I'm not going in the water. My hair is straightened. I'll just yeah. watch. I'll watch Sabrina. And he's yeah. like, you know, watch Sabrina. Like you're not going <laughs> to swim with turtles. And I was like, no. But yeah. Check that video out, y'all. Yes. So Check good. it out. Are y'all enjoying this thus far? If you have any other US slang that we could learn, even me, yeah. myself, go ahead and drop it below. And once again, the last six are gonna be on Sabrina's page. So make sure you guys go check that out when you're done watching this video. Okay, so the next word is, she calls it dunks. Ah! Dunks. You got jokes? Yes, I got jokes. <laughs> dunks. Dunks. Here. How do you say it? Dunks. Dunks? Dunks. Dumpsy, dump, dumpsy, dumpsy. We're talking you know? about the fruit. Yes, you're talking oh. about the fruit. Okay, so this is why when I first heard dunks, I thought it was what they were saying. Mm -hmm. A friend asked me, "Oh, you know what dunks are?" And I'm mm -hmm. like, "The only thing I know is cue the picture. These sneakers. That's what dunks are for mm -hmm. us." But I wasn't even talking about that just now. Oh, what were you talking about? I was talking about when someone is stupid, we say you dumpsy. So it's kind of like oh, not dump, dumpsy, but it's dunks. Downs. Down, downs. Oh, yeah. I guess y'all should so ounce, that. ounce with a D in front of it. Downs. Yes, okay. that's one. We did two ways to spell it, as we learned from Janelle at Laker Stories. Check that video here. Yeah, check that video out. <laughs> <laughs> a dance or a dance is a fruit with a very hard, rough seed in the middle, a yes. little bit of flesh, green, yellow, 
brown and and i think in jamaica they call it snotty nose when it's brown i did hear that yeah that's what it dumps is. Dumps is. we're gonna add the pictures in here so you guys can see it it tastes pretty good like it's i will say it's probably like an acquired taste you probably never mm -hmm. tried any fruit no. like that but it's like slightly bitter i think there are ones that are sweeter yes. and you eat it by dipping it in salt yes which i like it in the salt yeah i like it better in the yeah. salt so yeah definitely check out once again the other video with the food tour that we did where we tried those all right so if you guys know any other words that are used for dunks definitely comment below and add those so we were learning right yeah, sharing yeah. is caring today yes okay so here's the next word i personally don't use this word but you said you were unaware of it it's called john so it's more of like a philly thing what do you think it means a look person. at your face <laughs> it's a person a john a john is a person a john or a johnny how do you spell it j-o-h-j-a-w-n no. <laughs> okay so john is like a person according to urban dictionary it's a person, place, or thing. So I can't find that John anywhere. Or did you see the movie? That John was horrible. Something like that. Someone here said John, or I thought they were saying John. I was like, oh, you know what that word means? That's weird that you're using it because like only certain states really use that. I'm still but I it. lost. <laughs> That's the interesting thing about English language. The English language, they say, is the hardest language it to is. learn because here we are, we speak the same language, yes. but culturally, there's different meanings to words. Completely. And then on top of that, in the US alone, mm -hmm. like, how many states are we? Like, we all have our own different yeah. versions of slang yeah. and stuff like that. So, so, mm. so give me the sh long and short of it. A John is a person, place, or thing, basically. So it's like that John over there, I'm referring to the pass me that John over there. It could I, be, could be your food, I'd pass me any thing. item. I yes. Thing. Pass that thing. Okay. That's you would use the thing. the official English word that we would yes. use that thing. Not but that's why this is slang. This mm -hmm. is a slang challenge. So that's what John means, guys. If you have any additional definitions, go ahead and add them down. Yeah. Or represent your state if you use this yeah. word also. Okay. Next Bayesian word. So the next Bayesian word is so damn malicious though. So if I heard someone say malicious, I would pretty much think they're calling me evil. Like I'm trying to harm you. Like is all that, is it that serious? But mm -hmm. apparently here it has a completely different definition. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It's more like your nosy neighbor or someone who's trying to get into gossip and you know, they're just, you just malicious. You just in it. Like trying me. to get in your business. Yeah, yeah. You trying okay. to get up in my business. You want all about me and me and my boyfriend. No, <laughs> you malicious. That's what malicious is for me. What is it for you? What would we say? What would, yeah. What I, would you be to be someone who's nosy? I think I would be like, like, why is she all up in my business? Mm -hmm. Like, or I know some people would say, depending on what it is specifically, like, why are you clocking me? If they're like paying attention to like yeah. everything you're saying or like everything you're doing or how mm -hmm. much you're spending. I know this is a random examples, but like, let's say someone's like, you're spending too much money on your side. And it's like, why are you clocking why are you me? Talking like, me? why, why are you, you like talking? literally every, every move, you know what I'm doing. What's going Check on? Time. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody save me. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, so that's what we would say. So if you learned something new with those five words thus far, definitely head over to Sabrina's channel, Bayesian Lifestyles, link below to catch the other five words. We wanna see like how much you know, what was new to you, what did you already know already? Like, go ahead and let us know and educate us. Yeah. Sharing is caring once again. Head over to Sabrina's channel and check out this video, y'all.